today's workout is going to be very challenging as always for to shred is advanced but I will still give you some modifications for the beginners. We have four different exercises and uh, some of them will be only body weight, some of them will be with kettlebell and the weight. We also going to have buy-in and uh, before we do this workout together let's go through all of the exercises. For this workout you're going to need a kettlebell, here I have 12 kilo kettlebell or 26 pounds kettlebell and 4.5 kilo or 10 pounds weight. You also need water and exercise mat. So our buy-in exercise will be up and down plank into the jump in. So we're going to go into the plank position. Yeah, one straight line, belly sucked in. You're gonna go down on your elbows, then you're gonna come back up, and then you're gonna jump in with a straight back, abs again, engage, and you jump back. Okay, so uh, for the beginners, you can still do this one. If not, then just go on your knees and then uh, complete this exercise like this, and then jump in, I mean, step in, step out. Okay. And we're gonna do this for 20 times until we actually enter into the workout. So the first exercise will be two jump lunge with a, with a stop in the middle. Then we're gonna have a burpee push up into the 180 jump. So this looks like that. So go into the lunge position, hop in the middle, and then a lunge with the other leg. Up, go down, you're gonna do a push up or push up from your knees, jump center, and then 180 jump until uh, you complete all of the 10 reps. When you are doing the 180 jump, make sure that you're always changing directions, don't go just into the circle, okay? Go left and then right. Okay, then we have dive bomber. So this is also a very challenging exercise for our upper body. And we're gonna start in a pike position or downward facing dog. You're sliding forward and then you slide backwards. This is too challenging. You can go sliding forward and then you just lift yourself up like that. If this is too hard, you're sliding forward and then sliding backwards from your knees or sliding forward and then pushing your hips back. And those are all the modifications for this dive bomber. So choose your level. Uh, if this you've never done before, try from your knees, all right? It really works our shoulders and works our back. Next one, we have kettlebell swing to pendulum. Whenever you're starting with your kettlebell exercises, place it in front of you, okay? And now, shoulders back, back straight, abs engaged, hinging with your hips backwards, straight back, grab the kettlebell, and now perform a swing with the hips forward and then uh, a pendulum which is basically like a momentum squat uh, try it it's super fun if this doesn't suit you just stick with your kettlebell swings it will work our booty lower back and also abs and uh, next exercise we have clamps with a weight this is well known in my uh, workouts so go into a little ball and then extend and then crunch back up if this is too hard of course do only your body weight okay and that's it make sure that you're keeping your core super time tight at all times all right so this is our Sweat to shred tutorial. So let's go into the workout. Don't forget to do the warm up. Okay, let's start with our first exercise, which is a buy in. So plank 
up and down to jump in. 20 times. One, two, three, four, alternate also which arm goes first down, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, a nice a warm up as well okay we're gonna go for four rounds in total so make sure that you also pause in between if you need to it's totally fine okay so two down jump lunge into the burpee push up 180 jump 10 reps Engage your core, and we go. Hop, center, down, push up, jump on the other side. Hop, hop, two. Four, five, six. Slippery, I really recommend wearing gloves or a towel at least underneath. One, two, three. 
Tri. Four. Five. Six. Take a little bit of the break. If not, then modify. kettlebells and starting from here. Don't start with the kettlebell in your hands, okay? Let's go. Swing pendulums. One, squeeze your glutes. Two, three, four, drive you. Eight, nine, and ten. Okay. And clamps. So, if you're gonna make funny noises, it's from the mat and the sweat. Okay, let's go. Now we have 15 reps, go slow and controlled. One, two, three, four, five, Five. 
Knees. Seven. Job. Straight into dive bombers. Try to do five and rest or four or five rests and then continue. If you can go all ten at one one time, please do so. Challenge yourself. Make sure that you're breathing properly. So inhale now. Hold your breath while you go into dive. Exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. That was one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Have some really really strong moves in today's workout. <clears throat> it looks so 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 good. Okay, I'll go a little bit like diagonally now so you can see all the angles. Kettlebell in the center, organizing your back, your abs. Wraps, starting with a <sighs> holding the clam like this. <sighs> One. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, One round. Okay. You ready for round number three? Let's keep on going. Keep on going. If you want to do just a change in the normal jumping lunge, you can do that. You don't have to hop in the middle. I just like to add variety here and there. Challenge. 
challenging for sure. It's a lot of strength, a lot of cardio. But we love it, don't we? Four. is not like artificially made app where I pretend I'm perfect in every exercise which I'm also training with you so it shows me my strength and my weaknesses as well which is totally cool focus when you're doing the lab warmers backwards as you're really trying to push through the back uh, this will help you to get this mind and muscle connection all right okay pendulums and kettlebell swings are next this one would be probably the easiest Maybe I need to upgrade to the heavier kettlebell. First swing and then pendulum. One. Two. Three. and it happens yeah. even when I do the private classes sometimes my clients say hey it's not it's not eight it's seven or it's it's nine and then we argue a bit I always make them do more than less okay one Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Final round. 
Take a sip of water after each round. And let's go. We can do this. I'll try to do now without the lunge hops. You can do the hops or without, just to let you know. Okay? One, two,
I in. to do that. We have one minute of low plank, one minute of high plank, and then we're gonna just do one minute of um, <clears throat> either you do high knees, either you do jumping jacks, either you do mountain climbers, burpees, you choose your cardio, okay? <clears throat> So we have three minutes to add on top of this. All right, get ready. So I'll give you a rest between planks, about 10 seconds, and then we just continue, okay? This is gonna burn, but it's good to do it. Okay, ready? Okay, let's start <clears throat> a little plank for one minute. Make sure that your body is one, in one straight line. Think about how far you came, how strong you are already. about that you can do this. It's really slippery here for me. Dig in. Ten more seconds. seconds get ready for high plank two one and we go you can also go on one leg if you wish to oh, this burn is like 
crazy. <clears throat> I need to do this more often. 30 more seconds. today. Okay. I'll choose high knees. If I can even do it. Two, one, and we go. You can just do the steady pace. water, stretch, do some good cool down, eat healthy breakfast, don't forget to take some proteins and carbs now. Drink lemon water as well, green tea. Oh, okay. I'm really wiped out today as you can see. Okay guys, wishing you a wonderful day and see you tomorrow with a little bit easier workout or not. <laughs> Take care. Ciao.